Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is me, Duke CT, back with you once again, and I'm going to be doing a full gear vlog review, and here we are, good stuff here, first off, let's talk about the pre-show, as it does uh, go into the main event, first things first, we have the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship, as Eddie Kingston defends against Jay Lethal, and both we have some good chemistry with each other, you have Kingston actually doing her karana, you got like uh you know uh, you know Lethal doing his good stuff too. I mean some really back and forth. And at the end of the day though, Ricky or oh Ortiz comes in. Ortiz comes in, saves Kingston from um the uh, guitar shot as he Ortiz hits Sean Jay and his pencil and um Kingston wins with the back fist. One, two, three. A oh, decent match, fun little decent match. Give it like a seven out of ten. And uh, basically, Eddie Kingston called um, <laughs> uh, gosh, man, Stokely Hathaway uh, uh, a a uh, a ball bitch. It was hilarious. Next up, Claudio versus Buddy Matthews. Both were really good, fun, exciting. Both you know these two great chemistry. I want to see more of this. Um, I like this and just really good stuff here. And and surprisingly, uh, Claudio wins with the sharpshooter, and and he didn't. Buddy Matthews and, Cla and Claudio, you know, didn't shake hands. So this thing might continue on. Hey, you know what? I have no problem with that. Next up, we have the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship match as MJF and Samoa Joe defend the Ring of Honor Tag Championships against the Guns, and both guys, you know, both. Um, you know, both teams decent match. I honestly believe Cole, I thought the Guns were gonna win because I think the Guns, I think the AEW World Tag Team titles they were not ready for it, but I think they're really ready for a Ring of Honor World Tag Team title run. I believe they are so ready for it. I thought they were going to, and I think them going to Ring of Honor would actually be really good, and to build up they are and uh, build up. You know, just they need to have that because I think their Ring of Honor, the uh, AEW World Tag Team Championship run, wasn't that. Good. It felt uh, they were there, but not there. That's what I feel like. I think they shouldn't have beat the acclaimed. I don't think they should beat the acclaimed. I don't think they should have done that. But at the end of the day, um, they lost. And heck, you have um. I like the fact that they did do the three ten to Yuma to Samoa Joe. Um, uh, you know, showing how athletic they are. Joe does uh, their nice dive, all the stuff. But at the end of the day, guess who comes back? Adam Cole, baby, um, comes back, distracting Austin Gunn for Joe to hit the the, the um, Kakina clutch, Tavern tapped out, and then MJF, at the end of the match, they win, MJF hugs Cole, and, you know, they shake, uh, Joe and uh, MJF shake hands, it's all good, until the guns come in, and they attack MJF with a chair, basically pillmize his leg, they, he, they beat his leg with his leg, and thus, MJF had to go to offense and then said, please don't let them take their championship away. Please don't do it. Okay. All right. And we get to the storyline later on. Next up, we have the first off of many, the trios match. Fun. As staying at, oh, I love the intro to both, for like, uh, both of them. The Patriarchy, which, <laughs> oh, gosh, Luchasaurus, Nick Green, and Christian Cage with their child, uh, children, you know, and that stuff, it's really fun. Um, and then you have, uh, the, the three little bats with uh, Sting, Copeland, and Darby Allen. Basically, a really fun match. The really fun trios match, and honestly, Nick Green continues to impress me. Um, and all the stuff he does, and I'm like, this man, this, this kid, man, I mean, he's really good. I'm liking Nick Wayne. Every time I see him, I should see him more, but really good stuff, man. Just, but, but don't, don't, don't three teams, all of them, just, uh, good stuff here. Again, I do, once again, I like the fact that, uh, Flair had to get a nut shot, which is, uh, you know. People still respond to him. I know deals, allegations, all that stuff, but yet people just don't care. And, uh, but yeah, um, but at the end of the day, you had Luchasaurus. Um, I believe that Sting 
Uh, let's see, uh, Christian hit the Lucha with AEW TNT Championship, and then oh, and he 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 ran he ran. Then you have uh, Luchasaurus not only take a stinger splash, a spear, and a coffin drop to pin and win. Fun match. Um, probably again a really fun to grow opening match and the crowd gave Sting its flowers after being cussed out by uh, like you know um, Darby Allen <laughs> next up Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley for the AEW International Championship oh by the way before that you had um, um, you had MJF um, you know, uh, the Adam Cole come out to, uh, you know, says, all right, you know, we know what y'all did. So, you know, Jay White was going to be handed his championship, but no, the bang, bang belt is not going to be officially his. He has to defend it against Adam Cole trying to get his promise and everything, which is just weird anyway, but you know, we'll get to that when we get to it. So yeah, uh, next up we got Orange Cassidy versus the A uh, versus John Mox for the AEW International Championship. Oh my goodness, this was a match, man. This was a violent little thing. It just keeps going back and forth. Moxley's just just not selling anything for him, like you know the, the Orange Punch and everything. Just Orange Cassidy, just the desperation of Orange Cap to prove that he is on that level of Moxley. Moxley, you know the determination of Moxley is just you know. Man, if there is anyone who I know, people say all oh, the elites and aces, this, that, yeah, you know, hangman. Oh, you'll get to hangman, don't worry. But I honestly say this: there is the one man who is truly the ace, the heart, the hardcore, bleeding, damn heart. And I know that you know uh, of uh, AEW and it's John Moxley. There may be other people we will talk about that later. But man, with Moxley, he without him, if he he's not there in AEW. There is no AEW to me. John Moxley brings that intensity and anger in every match, and I love it. You know, the death rock, I mean, he had this into a just these two have just disastrous chemistry with each other. It just keeps going, and you know, Clarence Cassidy diving not once, not twice, but three times, just going back and forth, and just it's escalating. And then, you know, he used. Um, you know, the, you know, the, he just, they kept going in the corner, and then bam, the, the belt buckle was out, and then, you know, Orange Cassie, you know, uh, the, you know, missed it, and then bam, hits it, hits, he hits the uh, turnbuckle, and then bam, another, you know, Orange Cassie, boom, another stuff, bam, just keeps Orange over and over, and he still couldn't go down, and then just can't do it, and then another two more Orange punches, beach break, one, two, three, Orange Cassidy slays the damn dragon and retains the international championship. And afterwards, Willie you know, bump took. So I expect those two are going to fight for the FTW title probably next week. AEW title. Our collision, our rampage. Or heck, world's end. Who knows? Uh, anyway, next up is Karu Shida versus Timeless. Tony Storm with Looster for the AEW Women's World Championship. Both, I feel, first, I gotta say, I feel bad for Kaushida. She should deserve to have a long title run. But then again, she did have a good year title run, but it's just the stop and stop, uh, you know, the start and stop stuff with her. I, I I, just hate that. But then again, Tony Storm hits gold here. Personally, I would not have had her lose to Soraya. I would have had uh, uh, Kaushida win, have... Uh, in fact, if I really wanted to do something, I would have had a Kaushida maybe win at Wembley or something. I don't know. Have or you know, um, you know get the championship at Wembley, but no, no. Have a but if Kaushida would have won at Wembley and just had this thing, I think most people wouldn't be mad at this. But we're here. Uh, time stone again. The, the work and the just you know the chops and all this stuff. Good back and forth, decent stuff. Then you had the, the ending uh, was a little bit clunky with, um, you know, Kaushida, you know, they're trying to do a frying pan under the tights, you know, it was clearly seed that, yeah, you could watch it, but whatever, um, it, it felt like a little bit clunky, but overall I enjoyed the match as Thomas Tony Storm wins and, and guest Maria May gives 
Tony her flowers as well. I'm sure I'll give her flowers. I love the match. I do love the. I didn't. I love the the character. I do enjoy the match. In fact, even though it wasn't the best women's match of the night, but we'll get to that later. But let's get into the other match, ladies and gentlemen. The fail. The uh, not fail four way. No, it's a four way la- tag team ladder match for the AEW uh, World Tag Team Championship match as. The champions, Ricky Starks and Big Bill, take on FTR. Le Flaction Ignoble. Le Flaction Ignoble. Um, I mispronounced it. I'm, I apologize. Um, and Kings of the Black Throne. Woo! What a match. Woo, boy. This match not just delivered, it over-delivered. It was just banger. Banger, banger. I mean, just... Uh, the, Big Bill and Brody King was really good. Uh, Russia Delisco was fun. By the way, Delisco has a, at time of recording, um, he has a AAA uh, world title match uh, today or tomorrow or whatever. And he's doing all this stuff in the match crazy. You have Cash and Dax. I think oh, Cash gave, um, I believe, uh, Malachi Black a low blow in a match. And I'm like, I, I'm like, wait. I've never seen that before, like in a tag team, like ladder match, a ladder match in general, that no one goes for a low blow, which is weird. I'm like, maybe it's happened and someone could tell me in the comments, but it's weird that it's never happened before. It's just weird. And, you know, it's just really weird to have like that, you know? Um, <laughs> it's just like, I feel like that having a, doing a low blow in a ladder match. I feel like that should be a match ender, not a um, you know a heel like you know we fire at the base and then bam a nut shot and then they just drop and then the, the heel comes in and wins it. That that I mean I know uh, that would have been a little bit silly, but I think that'd be fun. But overall, this was a fun match. You know you got this is doing a springboard co uh, uh yeah Delistico doing a springboard co breaker. Then you have, uh, you know, to Big Bill, but Big Bill comes in with a choke slam. Then you got, you know, you got Roosh doing a bull's horn to Big Bill on the ladder. Then a, the list go doing a poison rama to you know, Mahalakai Black. Just and, and by the way, and um, and then you got Brody King doing a gang, uh, a huge Gonzo bomb to the list go through a ladder. Just horrible. <laughs> just not horrible. Just, what a horrible, uh, you know couple seconds with, uh, for Delestico, but yeah, man, he's like, he's probably hyped for it, I don't know, but oh, I love this, this is great, and this would be my match of the night, if, none of this, if this was like, okay, this would be, this right now was my match of the night, at this point, because great stuff, as Ricky Starks and Big Bill pick up the victory, and honestly, I'm loving this Ricky Starks Big Bill tag team, hopefully continue having their huge run as tag team champions. Next up, we got Chris Statlander with her, you know, the purple, the Vipers from uh, from uh, Dodgeball. At this point, you got to have Ben Stiller show up. We need Ben Stiller to show up. I mean, why not? She's just doing that stuff from Zoolander to Dodgeball. Good stuff. Um, as Julia Hart and then Sky Blue coming out with new music and stomping on the, the, the hat. She got like a crown. I'm like, this, this is going to be good. I'm thinking Sky Blue is finally going to do it. But. This was actually really good. There was a little bit clunkiness, but but overall, this was actually really a good women's match. A great three way. Both, um, both, uh, you know, uh, you know, all the, the challengers and uh, and Chris, the champion, Chris Stanley, uh, they have great chemistry with each other. You have uh, just uh, Statlander doing a you know coming in uh, after that beautiful moose saw Julia Hart, uh, Julia Hart hits on Sky Blue. And then just pulls her out. Julia Hart just pissed off. And then Statler just goes. She runs to Statler. And then she just does that nice little whoop, boom. Super, uh, you know, quick power slam on the back. Just really good stuff here. Back and forth. Um, lovely uh, counted to uh, a power bomb uh, to a code blue. Back, forth, everything. And then finished the match. Statler caught harder. Uh, caught sky blue. Did Saturday Night Fever. Then uh, Julia Hart came in with a nasty little clothesline. 
and pin Sky Blue to win the championship. Fun match. New champion. Love Julia Hart. I can't wait to what she could do with that championship. And uh, poor, poor Sky Blue. You could, you know, it just seems like uh, every time she keeps so close. Yes, so far. But in the end, does it really matter? Hopefully it will for Sky Blue. And hopefully she doesn't stay blue in this uh, an old thing. Uh, but yet, the color of the next match is not blue. It's red and blood. Holy mother of Lord. Sweet, like, sweet Christmas. This de Texas death match. And this, I thought someone was going to die. First off, you had Storm Swickle and Prisoner. They had that great entrance. And the entrance, like, the, everything for, like, us. Oh, the dance and everything was fun. And then, Heyman just comes out and beats the crap out of him. And I'm like, hey, it's nice that, uh... Uh, at first I was thinking, man, it was nice to hang me and let uh, Swerve have his little thing and little dance thing off. And then they just, oh, just hit the buckshot lariat, did everything else. Just kept going and going and then just bleeding and busting them open with a, with a stapler. And just like every part of them, staple, 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 all of the staples, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. And the bleeding and the stuff and all the craziness from from that to the Death Valley driver to a cinder block. To just uh, pile drivers to guardrails, just a, a move, three followaway slams and a moonslot with Barbara. Right. Just, just it is an insane blood through. And I don't even talk about the uh, like man, Hangman just staple his kid's drawing to Swickland's face. Goodness gracious, my gosh, this was violent. It was bloody, and. Oh, gosh. And Daddy did a... Strickland did a 450 splash on broken glass on, on, on Hangman. And it looked like, you know... And then you have, um, you know... Did a dead eye. Uh, not just a dead eye, but a power bomb. All this stuff on barbed wire board with Swerve's house on it. It was crazy. But then... You know, Nana brought Swickland back, and then he did his dance. And then Brian Cage came out, did a little buckle bomb, and f F5 to Page. And then Cage tried to, but then, you know, Page, you know, uh, Heyman wasn't having it. Wrapped a ball around, around, uh, around his arm, and did did, not, did some rolling elbows and a lariat. Then Page did a, did just caught Nana. Nana tried to do his dance, and then he just did a dead eye on through a table. Then Swickland hits, uh, uh, hits, smash a cinder block to a uh, hangman's back. Page gets up at nine, and then he chokes him out, chokes him out with a the 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 the, the chain mirroring what um the de the, the Texas death match way back of of a revolution. And went, but instead of hangman tapping out, he passes out. Couldn't answer the referee's ten count. Strickland wins, and holy goodness, I'm like, yeah, Strickland has finally gotten that next level. The rise of Stur Strickland in these past months, him and Hangman has made it. And I'm like, I wouldn't be imagined. I'm like, after the, the, the finish and everything of last night, I would not be surprised to see Stur Strickland become the AEW world champion and uh, they come back around to this and maybe one day we do Keith Lee which I don't know have I would not be opposed to Hangman versus Strickland Last Man Standing Wembley we should do this for the AEW world championship let's freaking go whoo match of the night hell this could be my match of the year that it was that bloody, violent, great, all of it. Whew. Then we get to the next match: Golden Jazz versus the Young Bucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, if they win, uh, the Jets win. Uh, they would get the World Tag Team Championship match. Uh, you know, the number one contendership. But the Bucks win, 
The Golden Jets had to defend, disband as a team. Both, this was actually really good. A really good match. And I like the fact the Young Bucks kept attacking the arm of Chris Jericho over and over and over again. And it looks like, <coughs> you know, just back and forth. I did like, uh, honestly, they both, Nick and Matt Jackson, both get low blows to um, Omega, uh, you know, Omega and Jericho. But then we, I was like, that would have been, you know, a way to end the match, by the way. And then after that, you had a low blow. Jericho did a little low blow to Nick when the referee was distracted by Omega. Then you had a nice... Then you have Poison Rana to Jericho. Then you have Matt having a um a uh, one uh, hitting uh, a one with an angel on Omega. And then there was some part in the match where Omega looked like he was going to hit Jericho with the knee, and I'm like, "Wow, they're gonna do this." The heel elite, which would have been weird. I'm like, "No," nah, because again, they've been doing this whole family stuff here, but. No, they didn't, and he hits him with the knee and hits the ripcord V trigger and then the one wing angle to pin him the match. And thus the Golden Jacks will facely face uh Big Bill and Ricky Starks or as um uh Brian Zane calls him Big Rick. Big Rick. That's what I like. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. I think that match might be actually fun. But, like, this match was fun. I wish it was uh, positioned. I wish this was positioned before the death match. So, it would have been a good match. And then, I think that's the crowd was a little excited. You know, lost here. Uh, but then we get to our main event. And, well, we went right back in time to uh, the 07 John Cena. And I'm going to give you this reason why. The MJF... Uh, was injured by the guns earlier. They pilmized his leg. And Cole was going to space him with, um, with a broken ankle. Which is weird. And then, he's not medically cleared, going through ankle surgery. And then MJF came out of the ambulance to defend the championship. At first, I thought it was going to be Scott Steiner. Oh, that would have been nice. Really nice. It would have been nice and fun. That would have been a good backup. Like, and then, you know, I guess... And then he would have point like, and then uh, Adam Cole says, no, that wasn't supposed to be me. It's holla if you hear me. And it's just Scott Steiner. So I'm like, yes, Scott Steiner versus Jay White. Why not? But no, it was MJF walking down and he will defend the championship. And I sit there and I'm like, yeah, this is John Cena. This is all this stuff here. Kept coming back over and over again. The, uh, the interference with the guns. All these other things, the Kang UK, fun match. In fact, the best, one of the most interesting parts of the match, you had, you had, uh, Jay White, they were going to do a table spot, but then the table collapsed. And then MJF said, like, said, screw it. One, just pulled a cactus jack and just elbowed him. And then another part of the match is that, you know, he did a, uh, a, um, a cutter outside the ring. Like, MJF could pull these moves off. He reminds me a bit of Canyon back in the day that he does these weird moves. Like, you know, you don't expect him to pull these moves off, but it's a surprise. He can do them, but he does it rarely. He does new stuff with it. You know, it's like when, um you know, like I said, you know, looking back when uh, Canyon in WCW, when you watch him, he always had those new moves. Once in a while, he does something new and innovative. I, I, I really think it was a... I think that is one of MJF's great qualities. And it looked like it was going to do a... You know, doing a... Uh, uh, you know, when it looked like it was going to have him, you know, full gear. And it's like this references of... Um, you know, remember when he, you know, pulled... You know, oh, he had to throw the, the towel when Cody couldn't be a champion and everything else. That's what he did. And like, he was going to do that here as he was, like, in the figure four. The, the leg is injured. He's just hitting it over and 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 over again. But, no, he fights off it. And then he keeps coming back and he comes back. And then he gets hit in the head with the Ring of Honor World Championship. And then he... um. <laughs> You know, you almost lost that with a near fall. Then, 
um, you know, multiple ref bumps. Then it looks like he had the, uh, the direct dining ring to uh, to uh, Jay White, but nope. Jay White hits a low blow. Then Austin and Colton come out. They get tossed out by the ring. The MJF hits Jay White with a diamond diamond ring, pins him to retain the AW Championship. I know people on Twitter didn't like it, but dang it, the crowd loved it. And I kind of like it too, but you just wish they could have done something else. But maybe they are building something interesting. They're building something else. So, yeah. Overall, I can see why some people don't like this main event. But to me, I enjoyed it. You know? But yeah. Overall, um, Full Gear, I give this a... I get to say uh, B plus. Um, There's some stuff I didn't enjoy, but you know, including the main event, the the chicanery and the women's championship match, uh, AEW women's title match was a bit clunky. But overall, um, I really did enjoy this pay per view. Um, It's one of my. This is again one I think All Out was the better show, but this was a very good show. Very good, and I will probably watch again. In fact, the matches I would watch again is Cassidy and Moxley, the ladder match, the triple threat TBS championship match, the Texas death match, and the Golden Jets and the Young Bucks. I mean, and most of them, if you ignore the pre-show stuff, the main event too. So, overall, I mean, one, two... Three, four, five. In fact, the opening match is pretty fun too. And six. So six out of eight. Not bad. But that's my personal opinion. Want to hear your thoughts on the uh, comments below? Anyway, Dixie Tier. Peace, love. See y'all. When I see y'all later. <laughs>